Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this critical thinking question. Use the definition of the derivative to show that f prime of zero does not exist, where f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. So let's use our definition of the derivative, but do it right there at zero. So we're putting zero for x. So we have the limit here as h approaches zero. All right, so the h is approaching zero, but x is also zero here. Of our function, this absolute value of x, so it's absolute value, and instead of x I'm putting in zero, so zero plus h minus the absolute value of zero all over just h. Well, what does this simplify to be? The limit here as h approaches zero. This here, well, 0 plus h is just h, so the absolute value of h here, absolute value of 0 is 0, so track 0 doesn't do anything, so we just have an absolute value of h here, and it's over just h. But what happens here as h approaches, well, 0? Well, what we're going to do is let's go test values, and we'll see what happens at the positive and negative as we get closer to 0. Now, we're dividing by itself. h divided by h, in a sense, will always equal one. And so um, what we're doing there is seeing what happens as we come from the negative from the left hand side or from the positive from the right hand side. So if we're coming from the left, x, x or h value, we're having negative h values. What is this? What happens? So we have a negative h value in, right? So negative h value that goes in we have the absolute value of a negative number, basically, over that negative number. Absolute value of a negative becomes the positive. We have positive over negative, and overall this becomes a negative. And it's a negative one because it's over itself. What happens if we come from the right? So we have from the right, and we have positive values, positive h values. So again, same thing, if we have positive values, we have a positive absolute value over a positive, which is just a positive over a positive, which is equal to, well, a positive one, because it's over itself. And so notice here that the left and the right side of this limit don't approach the same exact value. And so what this tells us here, that this definition basically saying that the limit doesn't exist there, and so we don't have a derivative right there um, when x is zero. So f prime of zero doesn't exist here because we don't have, we can't do the limits, left and right hand side are not the same, so our derivative does not exist there. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.